Hey friends, it's Carlene. Thank you for tuning back into my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing some blind buy fragrances that were a love at first sniff for me. So if that interests you, then you don't want to miss this video. Please keep watching. Hey friend, welcome back for another one. So those of you who are new here on this channel, I make videos on luxury, I do review videos, I share my fragrance journey, and I also sprinkle in a little bit of lifestyle in my monthly vlogs. So if any of those things pique your interest, then please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also turn on that notification bell so you know exactly when my videos drop. All right, let's get into it. The first fragrance that was a love at first sniff for me is one that I have done a dedicated video on most recently here on my channel, so I will link that here. This is Miss Dior's Parfum. This is my first Miss Dior fragrance. It is the first one that has appealed to me. And when I saw that this fragrance had a strawberry note, I was immediately intrigued and I decided I would just go for it. So I purchased this on Dior.com. And this was a love at first sniff for me. This fragrance is fruity, it has some florals, it has some patchouli at the base, which I feel like adds to the performance of this fragrance. I was in love with this immediately. Those juicy notes in the opening really piqued my interest and I love the way they're done here. And as I mentioned in the dedicated video for this fragrance, this fragrance puts me in the mind of Amélie's Femme by MFK or Femme Pluriel. That's what this fragrance evokes, except this one is more fruit forward, but it evokes that very soft, floral, very bright and juicy essence that those other fragrances evoke. So if you are curious about the vibes for this one, the essence, what this one kind of feels like, think of those two fragrances and you'll get an idea. But yes, Miss Dior Parfum was a love at first sniff. The next fragrance that was an absolute love at first sniff, I mean instant love, was Jury by Kajal. So I'm not the biggest lover of rose in fragrances. I love a more modern rose, I love pink roses, but even still I'm very cautious about the types of rose fragrances that I pick up. And while this fragrance has a very prominent rose, it also had a honey note that attracted me. I was on a little bit of a honey kick and this fragrance just spoke to me. I ordered it from Joma Shop and when I received it, it was an instant love type of situation. I absolutely love this fragrance. This is like a warm, spicy fragrance. It has beautiful spices in the opening. It has a beautiful rose note, as I mentioned. And the honey note in here is so prominent throughout the entire wear. This is a very realistic honey. And um, I would even call this an animalic honey. So if you're not into a very realistic honey, you may not like this fragrance. But for me, this was love at first sniff. I love the way the honey is done in here. And this is like a femme fatale type of fragrance. I pulled this out when I want to feel extra confident, when I want to feel sexy, very bold. This fragrance just does it for me. It's so good. This is also hubby approved. My husband does really enjoy this fragrance and that makes this all the more satisfying every time I pull this out. As a matter of fact, I love this fragrance y'all. This is probably going to be my bedtime scent tonight. But I love this fragrance and in addition to how I feel about the juice, I love the packaging as well. And I'm not typically like a black packaging type of girl. I like very bright colors, very fun colors, soft colors. I'm a very girly girl in that sense. And so I didn't think I would really like this dark packaging, but I quite enjoy it now that I've had this for a while. I feel like it matches the scent inside perfectly. And yes, this is Jury by Kajal. This is available on Joma Shop. I will put it in the description box for you all. But y'all, this is an amazing fragrance. It smells so expensive. It's very unique, one of the more unique scents in my collection as well. And it is a gorgeous, honeyed rose type of scent. So for this next one, I'm not going to bore you with how this smells. I've talked about it ad nauseum on this channel. So don't worry, I will not go on and on about this. But this is Afnan's Edict Amber Time. 
<sighs> Y'all, I just love this. It was love at first sniff. And recently I posted a video where I talked about how this smells and I talked about the fact that to me this smells like a creamy, dense, sweet version of Baccarat Rouge 540. And a couple of my subbies said that they are getting more Angel Share and Kamra vibes from this. And I think I figured out why. I went back and I tested this fragrance again and I realized I am more of a clothes sprayer. And when I started wearing this fragrance and whenever I wear it, I spray it mostly on my clothes. And when it was cooler and I was wearing sweaters and, and blazers and coats, I was spraying this on top of those items. And so I feel like this performs very differently on clothes than it does on skin. I tested this yesterday. And when I sprayed this on my skin yesterday, it warmed up on my skin and all the creamy and very warm sweet notes came out a lot more than the saffron in here. So in the absence of a very potent saffron, I can see how you all are smelling Kamra and Angel Share. So if you get this and you're not really getting a lot of the saffron, spray it on your skin and your clothes because that saffron is gonna come out a little bit more on the clothes. But yes, I just realized that I am getting more saffron, more Baccarat Rouge 540 vibes because I spray this on my clothes. Anywho, Love this scent, it was a love at first sniff. And every time I pull this out, I just have to keep wearing it. I cannot get enough of it. It's so, so good. So this is Afnan Edict's Amber Time. And this is a beautifully performing fragrance as well, y'all. So this next fragrance is another blind buy. And when I received this fragrance, it was exactly what I was expecting. And it may even have exceeded my expectations a little bit. And that is Flower Balm Tiger Lily. This is another one that I have done a dedicated review on and I really enjoy making dedicated reviews because it allows me to share a little bit more of my experience in depth. So you'll get a lot of dedicated reviews on this channel. I quite enjoy making dedicated reviews for like new designer fragrances. So this is one that I have a video on so you can learn more about this fragrance in that video. But this fragrance y'all, it's so fun. It's so creamy. It's so sweet. The tiger lily, uh, the florals in here are so beautiful. So this is a more feminine leaning scent. Although I can see a man wearing this, I feel like this is more feminine leaning. And it's just fun. It's tropical. It's sweet. It's creamy. It's all of that in a bottle. I love this scent. It is so good. Now, is this a groundbreaking scent? Absolutely not. So it's not something you have to run out and get. But if you enjoy more tropical, creamy, creamy, slightly lactonic, very fruity type scents. I think you might enjoy this one. So definitely get your nose on it and you may want to wait for an upcoming sale to pick it up because again, it's not like a groundbreaking scent, but it is a very good scent. To my nose, this has a very perfumey quality. So although the notes would indicate otherwise, this is more perfumey than it is edible smelling. Keep that in mind. This does share the DNA of the previous flankers, but this one is your more tropical, creamy, fruity scent. But I do think that this is quite different for Victor and Rolf. I feel like this is more fun, more lighthearted, less intense, less serious, less classic as well of a flanker. But I loved this at first sniff. This is so good, y'all. So if you don't have this, I would suggest getting your nose on it. It's a very fun, creamy, and sweet floral but it's not overly sweet it has a perfumey quality it has a beautiful mango and benzoin i would say that this is a very tropical scent but it's not a sunscreen like tropical scent it's a tropical scent that is absent of those sunscreen like vibes or those sunscreen like notes it's a little bit more refined than that so loving this one and the last fragrance that was an absolute love at first sniff is one of the newest ones to my collection i'm sure you all are probably going to grow tired of me talking about this fragrance every time i talk about a fragrance that i love or i'm obsessed with or that i'm using currently and this is paris corners tasking caramel cascade the love y'all is real it's real. If you have not watched my first impression unboxing of this fragrance and a follow-up video where I updated you on the performance and how I feel about this one, I will link those videos for you. But this is an absolute love. It was a love at first sniff and it's a love now. 
This is a caramel forward, lactonic honeyed vanilla type of scent. It has a richness. And if you don't like lactonic fragrances, if lactonic fragrances tend to turn your stomach, then you may have a hard time with this one. But I'm someone who loves a very richly lactonic scent. I don't mind smelling like sweet milk. <laughs> I think this dupe is about like 95% similar to Bianco Latte. I'm not going to be adding Bianco Latte to my collection anytime soon because this gets me close to it and the price is amazing. So no complaints here. I love this fragrance. It was a love at first sniff and I'm currently obsessed. If you're still here, thank you for still being here. If you enjoyed this video, if it's been entertaining or informative, if it's given you inspo in any way, definitely go ahead and hit that like button on your way out as it really helps my channel. And y'all, I blind buy fragrances a lot more than I would like to admit. I think you should always try to get a sample of your fragrance, a decant of the fragrance. So while I don't advocate blind buying, what blind buying has kind of done for me is it's helped me to understand notes a little bit better. Now I can look at a set of notes and be able to pinpoint whether the fragrance is going to work for me or not. And most of the time now, my expectations and the actual reality of the scent experience tend to match. I do think that when we get samples and when we get decants, it can remove some of the emotion that is attached to a decision to purchase. However, these are some blind buys that actually work out for me and not only work out, were a love at first sniff. So I hope you enjoyed this video. The other day I was cleaning and while I was cleaning, I had this thought slash question. I ask myself a lot of questions and this question was something like, what would it look like if the amount of work and the effort I put in on a day-to-day -day basis matched the size of my goals and my potential and they were basically equivalent? And what that did for me is it got me to thinking about my day to day and thinking about the specific steps I'm taking towards achieving the things that I feel like I can achieve. And so I wanted to share that question and that sort of inner dialogue I had with myself this past week. I wanted to share that with you in hopes that it will help you to think about your goals and the steps that you're taking on a daily basis or a weekly basis towards achieving those goals. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one very soon. Bye.